In today's video, I want to show you guys on how you can make a cool folder slash sliding looking animation in Google Slides. So that way it makes your presentation way more engaging to your audience, whether it be for school, work, business, or whatever it is. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay, so here I am on a new Google Sheets document. And as uh, the first thing I want to do is I just want to get rid of this uh, starting uh, title and subtitle, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and delete that real quick. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and go to the top here. Conveniently, there's a shape button here, or you can go ahead and hit insert shape and go to shapes. And I'm going to uh, select the rectangle. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and kind of create one from the top left corner all the way to almost the bottom right corner, but like not all the way. I'm going to just leave some room here. And what, as you can tell, that's going to be the folder uh, that I'm going to be creating. I'm going to go ahead and change this border color to transparent. So top here, border color, transparent. And I can go ahead and change the color of this, uh, you know, of this tab. I can go ahead and change it to just maybe this red if I want to, or maybe this darker red. Or it's completely up to you, but I'm going to go ahead and choose this red, actually, this lighter red. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create another shape. And this one, I'm going to just do this rounded rectangle. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of make it right here. Same drill. May change the border transparency and change the color back to whatever red you picked. So try to memorize which one you pick. So now that you have this rectangle, when you select it, try not to lose it by the way, but when you select it, you can see that there's a circle up here, right? This circle will actually signify its rotation. If I click and hold and drag it, you can see how it kind of rotates and it's, it does snap at like 90 degrees or, you know, whatever rotation, like 180 and stuff like that. But if you hold shift, it actually goes by 15 increments. So you want to go ahead and hold shift makes it, and make it easier on your life and just let go when it's at 90. Perfect. So now I have this little tab right here that signifies like the actual tab of the folder. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of shrink it a little bit. Now this one, you kind of want to eyeball it to, you know, how you want your, um, your tab and folders to look like. So if you, for example, you want your tab to, you know, be, you have long titles here. You obviously want to make it a little bit longer or maybe make it two lines. It really is up to you, but I'm going to go ahead and make this design right, right here real quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a text box up here with this T and just type in, for example, um, about, right? Like this is going to be the about slide. For example, you're presenting about a country or a person or a book. There's always an about section, right? <clears throat> so basically I just made an about text box shrunk it, bold it, and change the uh, color to white. Again, using the same circle, go ahead and grab it, hold shift. And when you're at 90 here, I'm going to go ahead and move it up to this. Click and drag up to the tab that I just created. Now, the reason why I didn't center it is because, you know, you want to make it clean and you want to make it a little icon. So I'm at flaticon.com here, as you can see, and I'm just going to type in the, uh, what is it about, for example. Great, I have this about icon here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit copy here, or you could just, you know, or I guess you have to hit copy this button. Back to the presentation, I'm gonna go ahead and hit paste. Shrink it a little bit, obviously it's ridiculously large. Shrink it, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it. You should be a master at this by now. And moving it here, right? So, as you remember, you hold the circle to rotate. And it's, it's great because it kind of snaps to the center of this. So, uh, you can see how the icon is black and that's not a problem. You don't have to open Photoshop or anything. You just have to hit format options here, or if it's already on the conveniently on the right, you can see this on the images. Like, so format options, it says recolor here. You want to click it and go ahead and click negative. Okay. The negative one, it just looks like it's white, but trust me, something is there. My camera might be blocking it, but trust me, there's a negative option. It looks like nothing is there, but it's, it's just a white version of this icon. So great. I have this about tab good to go. I like it. It's amazing. And now what I have want to do is I want to go ahead and group it. So what I'm doing is I'm selecting every single element that I just made. So the icon, the text, the rounded rectangle, and this big giant rectangle, and I'm holding shift as I'm clicking it. Okay. I'm holding shift. I'm going to, I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit group. So there's also a uh, shortcut here is control all G, but this is going to be, you know, operating system agnostic, both windows and Mac. You can just go ahead and do this. So now that that's uh, established and we have this group, you can see that when you move something, the whole thing moves, which is great because when you animate something, the whole thing animates. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. Um, you don't want to double click. You just want to single click. If you ask me to double click, you can click out of it, click back at it again, hit animate. And you want to, when you animate, you want to click 
fly in from the left because obviously it's going from left to right. You want it to happen on click or you can just do it like after previous if you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, this just means that like it'll, it'll pop up when the slide shows, which might be actually better. So you might want to do after previous and I just, you could change the speed of this, but I want to leave it at the default 0.8 seconds. And you kind of see when you hit play, exactly what happens, the folder slides in from the left to the right. Now, if you see any white spaces on the, uh, anywhere nearby, you can go ahead and just fix it by you know enlarging this or uh, ungrouping this. Okay, this is the manual way I do it. You can go ahead and kind of try to fit it up here, make sure that there's no uh, empty white spaces. If it doesn't bug you too much, that's fine. You can go ahead and select everything again, holding shift, click, 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 right click and group. Uh, if you ungroup something, the animation is going to be gone. So you can go ahead and reanimate it again, flying from the left and I do after previous. So that way when the slide shows up, this thing will automatically animate on its own without you clicking or anything. So great. Now you have this about folder. You can go ahead and fill it up with whatever. So for example, you can have a title here. Uh, you can go ahead again. Like I said, you can fill it up really with whatever you want. So, um, I'm, I'm just changing the color here. I'm just doing something completely random. Uh, title here or you could do uh, about uh, about this project for example whatever it is don't matter uh, this is gonna be where your content mainly goes so I'm gonna go ahead and steal this icon again about this project for example putting this icon up here so there you go and then changing this again format options and I'm gonna go to negative and I'm going to go steal this uh, over here again. You could make this. You could have images really however you want your slide to be, right? It's just uh, whatever is in the folder, quote unquote, in the folder. So I'm just going to grab this random alarm ipsum here and just kind of paste it, right? So there you go. This means absolutely no sense, but here you go. Pretend this is our content. Pretend this is our slide, right? So what happens is that once you have your slide ready, what you want to do is that you actually want to group everything again, right? So again, make sure you group everything or you can ungroup first. You can ungroup everything. So everything is like individual items and then, and then group everything into one slide. So you can go ahead and click and drag to select everything. Or again, you can do it manually where you're selecting every single element, holding shift. doesn't matter whichever way you do it. I'm going to be efficient and just kind of click and drag. I'm going to right click and hit group this time, right? So when I group this, this is all one group. It will all move. And again, if it's grouped, when you animate it, everything will animate together. So what you want to do is again, hit animate, fly in from the left, and I'm going to do after previous. So now that you get this logic of how this works, you can go ahead and hit play over here and see that, hey, your folder will actually show up from the left. All right, great. That's good. So now let me teach you guys on how you can make another tab or another folder, right? Right in front of this one when you're done presenting this. Very important here, you wanna copy and paste the latest one you have. So if you have five tabs, you wanna copy your fifth one. If you have your, you know, this is my, my first one, we're gonna go second. I'm gonna copy and paste the latest one, the first one that I have. And what I'm gonna do here, very important, is that when I have the second one, I'm gonna remove this animation. So this animation is no longer useful for us because we're not trying to animate the back one again, the back one I already showed. But instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste, thankfully it's grouped, right? copy and paste this group kind of put it behind the other one and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to ungroup it okay very important i'm going to ungroup this so now this is a tab of its own so whatever i just ungrouped here it's going to be the one the element in the front because i copy pasted it it just kind of stacks around the front now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy a uh, control or a uh, shift click the tab and the background whatever is red and I wanna change it to blue. So for example, I'm gonna change it to this blue color. And what I can do as well is kind of uh, select whatever is in this little tab, uh, folder tab thing and slide it down. So remember, we've already ungrouped it, right? So we're gonna slide it down. Now we're gonna have our second tab over here. So for example, instead of about, it's gonna be uh, whatever, like business model, for example. I don't really know what presentation I'm making. But for example, we have something called business model because why not? <laughs> um, then what I'm going to do is I can do, for example, business here on flat icon, grab something that's monochrome, which is like white and black, copy this. And I'm going to go ahead and hit paste again. Same thing as we've done before, shrink it a little bit, 
rotate it 90 degrees holding shift making it going in 15 degrees increments i just deleted the old icon and changed it again format options recolor to negative so now we have another tab here and what you can do is obviously change the content of this one you know you change it to whatever you're presenting about so this is business model sure what well, let's present about business model what's What's our business model for this project? Yada, yada, yada. I don't know. This is a fake presentation. Boom. We have business model. Perfect. Good slide. So now don't forget what you want to do again is that you want to group the stuff, right? So I'm, you can go ahead and hit like drag it like this. But this time the dangerous part is that you're going to be accidentally selecting whatever's grouped behind it. So I would highly recommend for this slide, for the second slide forward, just manually select holding shift, right? One by one. So that way you make sure you don't accidentally grab that one over there, this previous one. So make sure you grab everything, right click and hit group. And you wanna just double check, okay? Move it around, make sure you got all the elements. You can always undo it. And then again, once you group everything, you animate it flying from the left. And then guess what? You wanna do after previous, so now you can see the back one is already here and the next tab shows up your next folder shows up so now let's start it from the beginning so you have the about project you click once you have the business model you click again you would have another tab another tab you see how you see where this is going now it's up to you if you want to keep this business model like right right here or like a little bit shifted to the left so that way you could kind of see like the different tabs and like the progression that you've made throughout the slide it doesn't really matter however you want to do it but now you know and you understand on how do you make this animation slide now with that being said adding this to your presentation is actually a really good idea because one it makes the slide very very engaging and two your slides will stand out it's very unique and using google slides i don't know this is not a very common animation right so if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below and i'll see you guys all in the next video